as you can see by the title, today we are going to be bedazzling a hairbrush. The products I'll be using in this video are a silver Diane brush that I will leave linked in the description box below. This cute rhinestone picker that I will also leave down below. A pack of iridescent rhinestones. Some E6000 transparent glue. And a pack of craft sticks, popsicle sticks, whatever you want to call them. So in today's video, I'm pretty much just going to explain and show you guys how I made the brush. You guys can follow along as I talk and just see what I did. Basically, what I'm doing is spreading the glue evenly onto the brush using the popsicle stick and then using the pink rhinestone picker to place the rhinestones on top of the glue. To use the rhinestone picker, you just have to tap it on top of the rhinestone and it'll automatically attach itself to the picker and all you do after that is place it onto the glue. I repeated this process throughout the entire brush going around the perimeter first so that I had a more uniform line going down the sides and the top of it and then filling it in as I go. And I know it doesn't look like this in the beginning but that's the method that I ended up picking up a little while into making the brush. Here you can see me using this little metal piece which is on the opposite side of the picker and I just used that to help me flip over some rhinestone or to readjust the rhinestones so that they're in the proper place. Right here, I'm just using the popsicle stick to flip over any rhinestones that are face down. That way, I don't have to struggle to flip them over with my finger. And as you can see here, I stopped using the popsicle stick and just started squeezing the glue straight from the tube very lightly and spreading it side to side so that I still had a thin even layer of glue. If you're interested in making this brush, I will say that the process itself is not that hard, but it did however take me three days to complete it, so you definitely need to be prepared to spend a lot of time on this project. But if you want this brush and don't want to spend time making it, you can order one from my Instagram page, Beads by Blossom. I'll leave a link in the description box below, and you can tell me whatever colors you'd like. I'll find them and give you a price for the brush and make it for you. That way, you can get a beautiful brush just like this without having all the hassle of making one. And once again, I'm using the metal end of the picker to rearrange the rhinestones into the proper place. And here I'm just using a popsicle stick to flatten them out, that way there's none that are raised or leaning on top of another rhinestone. Yeah. 
And here, even though I know it's a little hard to see, I put some glue on the metal end of the picker so that I can put glue in the places where I couldn't put the tube directly. Anyways, this is the finished product in natural light, and in the next clip, it will be with flash. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, even share it with a friend. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!